Hi, if you're one of my channel subscribers, I do apologise for posting so many videos about motors, but uh, I'm having a bit of a clear out. This motor comes off a vintage milling machine. It's a one quarter horsepower motor. And um, we're just going to quickly test it just to uh, check that it works. I mean, obviously the thing actually spins around, um, but we'll actually see it running. We'll also check the no load current and also the insulation resistance too okay so that's the first thing we're going to do we're just going to use this uh, meter to check insulation resistance there's a couple of settings on it i can check uh, high or low volt well they're both relatively high 500 volts or a thousand volts so we're on the thousand volt setting and um, what we need to do is just to check that the insulation is good between the grounded parts of the motor like the case here uh, which i can get to via the uh, earth pin on the plug and uh, and the windings. OK, so to get to the windings, I'm just going to clip the other probe onto the uh, live and neutral. OK, so let's do that. And you've probably got bad uh, reflection at the moment uh, from lighting. But you'll see that we've got we're reading the top scale, the red scale. So it's it's greater than. Um, well, it's, it's actually nearly. Uh, 40 mega ohms of resistance so that that is uh, very good um, I do look up online but I think you'll find anything in excess of about 10 mega ohms is regarded as as uh, adequate okay so that was on one pin let's go for the other one. Oh, by the way actually let me just turn the um, power of the tester back on and just put it so you can see it again uh, but if I were to check like that you'll see that we've got a very, very low resistance. I mean, it indicates something like zero, but of course it can't meet zero ohms resistance, but it's very low. Right, okay, so now just making sure that I don't short myself out across these probes, because it does give a bit of a nasty bite. It's a thousand volts after all. And you'll see that, um, okay, so once again, it is more than uh, 30 megrams. It might even be 40 megrams that. Okay, now this is an uncalibrated meter, of course. So if you were doing this, uh, getting paid for it, then you wouldn't be using an uncalibrated meter, but um, I believe that it's good. OK, so the next thing then, let's just get that out of the way. I just want to check the current drawn and I'm not going to put any mechanical load on this spindle. I'm just going to see it just run. So let's first of all just, just see it run. And uh, on this extension lead that I've got here, I've just looped the live out. I do sometimes think that maybe I should loop out the neutral. Uh, because the neutral's uh, tied to earth as well, but um, this is not being used as an as an everyday extension lead. This is solely made so I can do this with a clamp meter, because uh, that makes it quite easy to uh, get the clamp meter on there. Uh, the clamp meter is currently set to six amp scale. So if you look along this scale, it's an old analog meter, but six there. So that's the scale. So you know one, two, three, four, five, six amps. Uh, initially, the needle is going to deflect quite a bit because uh, there's going to be a large inrush current because it's stalled. It's the stall current. Um, and then that will settle down to something around about two amps. Yeah, it says the full load current. I mean, it doesn't actually say full load current, but that is what it's talking about. 2.6. OK, so 2.6 amps. Uh, we're not under mechanical load, so I'm expecting something um, uh, roughly about uh, two amps. So let's let's run this. Uh, hopefully you saw the needle flick for a moment. Uh, it is running. Sometimes it's difficult to see uh, this running uh, in a video because of um, the, the frame rate of the video. But believe me, that's, that's running fine. You notice it's also running. Um, it's running fa fairly quietly. I mean, that, that's not bad at all. Um, and I'm not getting a shock off it either. I, I'm quite, uh, quite confident that the insulation is good. And uh, so what are we pulling? Uh, just fractionally over two amps. And that to me sounds about right. OK, let's just stop again. And in a moment there, when it, when it almost comes to stop, you'll hear the centrifugal switch. Uh, click and then we'll just start one more time. This time I'll just look at the meter and I'll just press the um, power on. There we go. OK, so just over two amps. And I'll unplug. And just very, very briefly, I'm not going to take this connection plate off, but behind this connection plate, in common with most, actually, you know, two screws come out and then you've got some um, terminal posts 
and there's instructions inside the connection plate saying you know if you swap i think it's the red and the green wire on this one then you can reverse the the, the motor direction okay so any questions do feel free to ask but i will at some point be putting this one up for sale thanks very much for watching